What's up guys, how's it going? Uh, today, just because of all the craziness that's still going on in the world, I think a lot of people are starting to work from home. And furthermore, I think actually work from home is becoming a lot of people's new normal and just their home is becoming their office. So it's a weird time right now. I, for one, actually just recently started a job this past Monday. If you guys follow me on Twitter and other places, I'm sure that you guys are already aware of that. And so for me, it was a very interesting experience. I think for one, I was very thankful that the company was still willing to bring me on. I think a lot of people probably got offers and then, you know, with all this stuff happening, I think a lot of companies probably rescinded people's offers, unfortunately, but I was lucky enough that the company is still allowing me to, you know, start my job, be onboarded. Um, and so I did so this past week remotely. And so, so far it's been great, but it kind of made me realize that with this becoming the new norm for people, it kind of dawned on me that this is probably a good opportunity to make a video about working from home and how to be productive while you're working from home. All right guys, so today I just wanna go over five different tips that I have for you guys for how to be productive while you're working from home. I think this is kind of a big challenge for people for a variety of different reasons, but I think one, like I did an internship that was remote uh, in college and I couldn't stand it. I really didn't like not having coworkers. I really didn't like not seeing people every day and having like a physical office to go to. So I was a little bit worried when I first started thinking that my job was gonna be remote. But so far it's been great and I think I've come up with a couple different tips to make it manageable. So my first and very simple tip for you guys to start with is to make sure that you're getting up at the same time every single day if you can help it. I think the first thing that kind of goes out the door when people begin working from home is getting up early, right? Why am I gonna get up early? Why am I gonna be in the office by nine o'clock or on my laptop by 9.30 if I know that no one's kind of looking over my shoulder, making sure that I'm physically there? And so I think a lot of people tend to roll out of bed later when they're working from home just because no one is there, there's no boss enforcing it, and they know that they don't really have anyone to hold them accountable to make sure that they're at their desk at 9 a.m. or whenever you have to be at work. And so I think the first thing that you really wanna do when you start working from home is just make sure that you set a schedule and make sure that you have a time that you get up and try and get up at that time or between those times every single day to make sure that you have consistency and you start to have some sort of schedule within your day. My next tip for you guys, and this sounds kind of silly, but I think it's actually pretty important, is to make sure that you're getting out of your pajamas or whatever you slept in the night before, before you actually start doing your work. And the reason for this, I know it sounds kind of silly, Kevin, like why if no one's gonna see me, would I get out of my sweatpants and t-shirt? But the reason for this is because psychological studies have actually shown that people tend to adopt the characteristics of whatever attire that they're wearing. And so what I mean by that is if you're wearing comfortable attire, right, if you're wearing sweatpants and a t-shirt, if you're wearing pajamas, you're probably going to adopt those characteristics that you don't want for work, right? You're probably going to be very relaxed. You're probably going to be lazy. You're probably not going to be very motivated. And that's not really what you want when you start working from home, especially if you're like me and you're working at a new job. <laughs> so I definitely recommend trying to put on something that makes you feel good, something that makes you feel awake, something that makes you feel productive and motivated to make sure that you're actually doing your best work on the job. And this isn't to say that you need to put on a suit. I think doing, you know, just putting on jeans and a t-shirt or a pair of slacks and a button down, really whatever you wear to work normally, I think will do the trick for you. So my third tip for, oh, sorry guys. Actually in my last video, a lot of people were saying that these candles were making them nervous. I don't really know why, but apparently people think that it's like very close to the blinds here. So before we actually get into the third tip, I'm just gonna put those out because the last thing I want for you guys is to be anxious while watching my videos. So my third tip for you guys is to make sure that you have a designated area where you try and do your work. So because now that you don't have a physical separation between where you work and where you live, it's gonna be hard to actually get your work done if you don't set a designated area where you do your work. So my recommendation for you is to try and pick a room in your house or a desk or an office or a table where you actually sit down and do your work and you say this area, this space, this room, this desk, is where I do my work. And the reason for this is because this will help give you an actual physical separation like you would between having an office and having a house or an apartment or a commute to work, right? This will help give you that separation. So here's where you do your work. And when you're not in this space, when you're not in this room, when you're not at this desk, you don't do your work. And so I think that's a really good thing for you to have mentally to make sure that you don't feel like you're always at work. 
And so one point for this tip is I probably wouldn't choose your bed for your workspace. And the reason for that, kind of like what we discussed earlier with your clothes, is because now you're going to have these contrasting associations, right? Your bed originally is a place, hopefully, <laughs> where you go to sleep, where you relax, where you catch up on rest, right? And now it's going to be a place where not only do you do that, but you actually do the exact opposite, right? Now you stay awake. Now you are productive. Now you are maybe stressed, anxious, uh, swamped with work, etc. So I really don't recommend trying to make that your workspace because of those clashing associations. So my fourth tip for you guys is to make sure that you're setting boundaries. And what I mean by this is because now that you're always going to be at work, right? There is no physical separation between this is my office and this is my home. This is where I work. This is where I hang out. You don't have that separation really. So I think it's important to set those boundaries for yourself. So it's really going to be hard probably, chances are, to actually sign off at night, to stop reading your email, to not answer Slack messages, to not stop coding. So my recommendation for you is to really just set hours, right? 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. is when I work. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. is when I work. Whatever your hours might be. Maybe it's 8 to 7. I have no idea. But just have those hours set so that you know this is when I should be at my laptop and this is really when I should walk away from my laptop. So my final tip for you guys to be productive while working from home is to make sure that you're taking breaks and that you're regularly exercising. So a lot of people will use techniques like the Pomodoro technique, and if you guys aren't familiar with that, it's where you have a focused period of work that might last for 30 minutes to an hour, and then you take a small break, maybe five to 15 minutes. And what this allows you to do is it really allows you to set aside all distractions, you put your phone on silent, you don't look at your email, you don't respond to Slack, you're kind of on do not disturb, and you focus on one task at hand for a focused period of time. And after that, you kind of get to reward yourself, which is really nice. You get up, you refresh yourself, you walk around, you do something you want for 10 to 15 minutes. Maybe you watch TV, maybe you go on social media, kind of whatever you want to reward yourself and to kind of give yourself that break from doing that super, super focused work. Aside from that, I think not only is it important to get up and walk around between meetings, between like maybe tickets that you're working on as an engineer, et cetera, but I also think it's super, super important to make sure that you're being active and you're exercising. At this time, it's probably really hard to make sure that you're getting adequate exercise, especially like walking around enough, especially if you're like in New York and you're quarantined, you can't really walk outside too much. Um, but I definitely recommend trying to stay active and it's really easy to do uh, at home workouts. Like you really don't need that much. Body weight squats will do it for you. Push ups will do it for you. If you guys have a pull up bar, pull up bar is great. There are tons and tons of classes online, but generally speaking, you should be able to do some sort of simple calisthenics or body weight workouts to make sure that you're getting enough exercise. So for me, the way I've been fitting exercise into my schedule is I typically do a few hours of work in the morning and then during my lunch break, I'll eat a quick lunch, I'll go for a run, I'll do a quick workout and then I'll come back to work. And for me, that's really nice because I think it breaks up my day. And two, I think that working out is a really good stress reliever and it's just super good for you mentally and physically. So I definitely recommend that you guys try and fit it into your day somehow. So guys, that's all I got for you. Those are my five tips for working from home and to be efficient while doing so. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Pull up on your block and I bleed it. Like, if I don't drop some, I can't leave it. Walk out these cold, but the tech got him leaning. Never let the beast get cold with the mean. Pull up on your block and I bleed it. Like, if I don't drop some, I can't leave it. Why I be told, but this tech got him leaning.